Welcome to the Munch for Wellness channel. As a disclaimer, please be advised that this is an informational video only. Now, on to today's topic. Do-it-yourself homemade hand sanitizer ingredients. Why you shouldn't use denatured alcohol. Isopropyl alcohol, also known as rubbing alcohol, is becoming harder to find at 99%. But turning to other types of commercial alcohol to make the do-it-yourself WHO hand sanitizer for the coronavirus, can be a harmful decision. Especially when you start seeing denatured alcohol in your search results, along with the isopropyl or rubbing alcohol. Denatured alcohol is used to strip floors and make shellac. While it does contain alcohol in the form of ethanol, you might think, that it would be okay as a substitute for the hard-to-find 99% rubbing or isopropyl alcohol, listed in the WHO hand sanitizer formula. But beware! Ingredients are added to denatured alcohol that make it poisonous. This is so that people won't drink it. Those ingredients can be dangerous, if absorbed through the skin. Not to mention that it would be sure to irritate your hands. So please, don't put it in your homemade hand sanitizer, in your efforts to fight the COVID-19 coronavirus. If you are having trouble finding the 99% rubbing alcohol for the WHO recipe, you can use the 91% rubbing alcohol. You will just have to alter the amount that will be used. To achieve an effective solution of 75% alcohol concentration, recommended by the CDC, Center for Disease Control. Here is the World Health Organization formula for do-it-yourself hand sanitizer, using 91% rubbing alcohol. 3 and 1 quarter cups of 91% isopropyl alcohol. 3 tablespoons of 3% hydrogen peroxide. 1 tablespoon of 98% glycerol also known as pure glycerin. Plus enough water to make a total of 4 cups or 1 quart of hand sanitizer. It is recommended that you mix the solution with care and use protective goggles in the event of accidental splashing. The mixing instructions are as follows. 1. Put on glasses or goggles to protect your eyes. 2. Combine the three active ingredients of rubbing alcohol, hydrogen peroxide and glycerin, in a container that has measuring indicators along its side. A container that has measuring labels along the sides will be the most accurate. 3. Add clean water to reach a level of exactly one quart. 4. Mix thoroughly by carefully stirring. 5. Pour the mixture into dispensing containers, squeeze, pump, or spray bottles. Essentially, it is best to use sanitary containers that are new, without any residue of previous contents. As of today's video date, 91% rubbing alcohol is still available at Amazon. We have done our homework, and placed links in the description below this video, to find it on Amazon. Thanks for watching, and be well. Thanks for watching. We upload videos all week long. Please like and share. And don't forget to subscribe.